What happens if you react magnesium metal with fluorine gas? Well, magnesium is a metal from the left-hand side of the periodic table. It wants to lose its two valence electrons to get a charge of plus two. Fluorine is a halogen. It is a non-metal from the right-hand side of the periodic table. It brings seven valence electrons, so wants to gain one to have a full outer shell. That would give it a charge of minus one. When you react a metal with a non-metal, the most common thing to have happen is the electron exchange that I just mentioned. Magnesium loses two electrons, and fluorine atoms want to gain one electron each. Now, fluorine comes as molecular fluorine, that's F2. That's just how it is in nature. Here in Canada, we call that Hofbrinkel because there's like seven elements that come like that, hydrogen, oxygen, fluorine, whatever. But you came here for this reaction. Magnesium wants a charge of plus two. It's in the second column. Fluorine wants a charge of minus one. It's in the second last column. It is one electron short of having a full octet. And to create the product of these two ions, we crisscross the charges. That one comes down onto the Mg. That gives us Mg1, but we don't write one. And the fluorine gets the two for magnesium. Now, I don't want you thinking that that two is related to that two. It is not. This is just how fluorine presents itself in nature. And this two came from the charge on magnesium. It's an ionic compound, which is almost always a solid at room temperature. The only exception is when there's water around, but there's definitely no water here. And so we end up with a single ionic product, magnesium fluoride. Two elements coming together to form a single compound is called a synthesis reaction. And that's what we have here. To become one. Best of luck.